Welcome back to the channel. I am Mick from the MLF Network and let's briefly talk about Animal Kingdom Season 4 Episode 1 to 3. So I've come across like comments saying that they're not feeling this season, that it's boring so far. I'm like, what? This season is a lot better than the crap they did last season. I was so upset with last season that, you know, I didn't even want to watch this season. But you know, like, you know, I just want to see where the train wreck leads. And so far, I have not been disappointed. I like, you know, that they're showing us the flashbacks of Smurf and how she became the boss bee that she is today. And the guy that she's currently with, I think, they're calling him Colin. I think Colin is his name. I think I'm not sure or if it was mentioned anywhere who he is exactly, but I think he might be Pope's dad. Number one, he kind of looks like Pope. Number two, his behavior kind of mimics Pope as well. And I feel so sorry for Pope. It's like He's just so lost and broken without Lena because as we saw from last season, if it wasn't for Lena, he would have already shot himself dead on that beach. So he lost Lena. He lost the only brother that kind of looked out for him, Baz, which I still feel that taking out Baz out of the show was a grave mistake. They had such a good dynamic together and now like in season three, that's why it was kind of floundering because they introduced new characters that didn't really quite fit with the cast, <coughs> Billy. But the girl, what was her name? I don't remember her name. The blonde girl that came in with Billy. I like her character, but I feel they wrote her into the story kind of poorly. Because, like, they kind of wrote her in with Billy. Like, she was, like, this trash off-the-street girl. Just, like, a bum, a druggie with Billy. But but she looks like a well-put-together woman who is, like, a high-class thief who rolls with the big bosses. So, like, I'm thinking, like, if she's of this person, of this status, that she knows these people, like, you know, big in the business, right? Why was she rolling with the bottom of the barrel with the bum? That that didn't make any sense to me. But anyways, I love her character. I hope she stays. This Angela character, she's interesting. I want to know what kind of connection, what kind of history she had with Julia and with Pope. Because like the kind of vibes that I'm getting from her and Pope is like almost like she had a threesome with Pope and his sister. It kind of creeps me out. And like how Smurf like said, have you met Angela? You should do some catching up. Like it kind of hints that, you know, they had like some type of sexual relationship going on while he was a minor. Like that, that's how it feels to me. You let me know how you think, what you think about that. And the Mia character, everybody's hating on her. Okay. She is not to be trusted. She's a slime ball. And, um, you know, she's trash. But between she and Nikki, i rather see Mia on the screen. She, she knows the business. She's in that lifestyle. She's about that life. Nikki was not about that life. To me, Nikki was holding back Jay, trying to be in that life. So, like, when Mia rolls up on that guy from her past or her boyfriend's friend, and she just shot him in broad daylight in cold blood, I was like, damn, a bitch not even going to wait till nightfall? Like, <clears throat> And then the boyfriend comes in mad to, I guess, the gang leader. It's like, oh, haven't you heard, like, Paco got shot? Like, aren't you going to do anything? And he's like, didn't he rob from the little corner boys? Like, why should I do anything? 
And it's like, oh, um, are you going to do me that? Like, when it comes down to it, he's like, yeah. If you do some dumb shit, I will. <laughs> it's like, damn. But I feel, I feel that Mia likes Jay more than this boyfriend. I feel that she felt he was never getting out of jail and she didn't have to deal with him. Even though she's not trust, trustworthy, I think she's putting more of her her eggs in Jay's basket than this boyfriend. Because how much guys are going to put you up in a nice house? Have you run businesses for them? Run like different things for them? And you getting paid from time to time? And you live in that life? Your boyfriend can't even get a job. Or give you that type of, you know, lifestyle or that type of money, honey. So I believe she's going to maybe eventually kill her boyfriend. I think so. You let me know how you feel about that. I feel that she has no love for that guy. I think she has some type of love some t or some type of like for Jay. But, you know, she's not to be trusted. She will stab Jay in the back when time comes for it. And Jay needs to be careful with that girl. He is, like, underestimating her. He is, like, trusting her way too much. Because I hope he didn't accept that lie and think that guy is just her brother or friend or whatever. And like, you don't shit where you eat. Why are you bringing him up into the business? Why are you bringing him up in the house and fucking him in the house? Like, nah. <laughs> but you let me know about that situation. How you feel. I like the, um, the backstory with Colin and Ellen. And not, not Ellen, sorry, Smurf. I like the backstory with Smurf and Colin. And I feel that he is Pope's and Julia's dad. I want to see where that goes. I I am really feeling this episode. Not I'm really feeling this season so far. And like I'm hungry for more. Please don't drop the ball this season. You dropped the ball so hard last season that it double dribbled. Okay. And rolled down the hill into the ocean. floating away into the Atlantic but you see the scene where um when Jay was to smurf and say like I'm gonna take everything that you love I'm gonna take everything from you she should have woke up and say like what's that baby but I believe she heard what Jay said she gave him a royal spanking in episode three because like she set that up so well so if he wants to take everything from the bad bitch the big dog you can't be acting like a little puppy you gotta be acting like a dog catcher he acting like a scared little pussycat afraid of the water what he was supposed to do he was supposed to be quick on his feet and quick with his lies. He basically admitted his guilt to Smurf without really fully admitting it. So now he's ensnared into Smurf's trap. I'm like, Jay, you wasn't thinking. You wasn't thinking. <laughs> and what else? And kudos, major kudos to Craig. Because they always have him pegged as the dumb brother who doesn't use his head and who is just, you know, brash and irrational and just does things without thinking. That was so effing brilliant. Like, to spray, spray up and tag the, the art piece, the stones. So then, you know, if they think it's ruined, they have to transport it. And that solves half of their problems. All they got to do is hijack the truck. But I think 
they should have tried to pose as the moving company so then there's no hijacking involved because it's already in your truck all you gotta do is get the fucking truck uh just like how they like post as a moving company for the house and they just took the stuff just like that and nobody suspected i think no guns no break-ins no robbery so but craig that was brilliant you are stepping up i'm kind of upset that they made smurf sick in the episode like the cancer spread to her to her liver to her bones i'm like are, are they trying to write out smurf like even if they're not trying to write out Smurf, how will they go about it, like, you know, in, like, saving that character when it comes down to it? How are they going to go about it? Because I foresee that's going to be sloppy writing. Like, I don't know if a lot of you guys watched Empire where Lucius was, like, terminally sick and he was dying. And then um, they slop sloppily wrote that you know he was misdiagnosed and you know it was curable and like i like stop it with that shit i was just poor poor effing writing but they better not be taking out smurf because if smurf gone i gone i done i done and major props major props to the actress who is playing the younger smurf she looks just like ellen barkin and like her demeanor and like the way that um she's carrying herself and the way that she's like you know speaking like it just reminds me of a young ellen barking it's like major pops to her she is phenomenal in this show things happen with darren's boyfriend but i don't really care about him and his drama but one thing i should say is he should have tried to lie and not say that this guy was his roommate. He should have tried to lie. And not you know say Darren's real name. Because as we all know. That the FBI or the cops. Been like wanting to get the Cody's. For a long time. And they'll be like. Jackpot Cody. Like, yes. yes. But anyways. So that's my little commentary. For episodes 1 to 3. I can't wait for episode 4. But you let me know how you feel about this season so far. You let me know. And let's get this discussion popping and make life fabulous even when it's not. And I will see you in the next.